Kylie Jenner has shared a video glimpse of baby Stormy, who is just as adorable as you'd expect, at least judging from the looks of her toes, which is all her mama is letting us have a look at in her latest Snapchat. Having already celebrated her daughter's birth with a Kylie Cosmetics collection named in her honour, casual, Kylie shared another little glimpse of her baby, who was born on February 1st. Seen holding Stormy's foot and saying, Mummy's cute little toes, Kylie is clearly pretty loved up and posted the video to Snapchat to share with her fans. While we're yet to see much more than Stormy's phalanges, Kylie herself has been seen out and about more in the past few weeks than she was the entire time she was pregnant. Over the weekend, Kylie was even photographed out on a lunch date with boyfriend Travis Scott for the first time since giving birth. And that is what we call couple goals, ladies and gents. Following news that she's taking a year off acting to pursue activism, it's being reported that Jennifer Lawrence is working on a series about the hashtag MeToo movement. According to The Hollywood Reporter, J-Law has teamed up with former E! News host Kat Sadler, who quit her job at the network because of what she described as an enormous pay gap between herself and her male co-host Jason Kennedy, despite the fact they were essentially doing the same job. Revealing the news during promo for her new film Red Sparrow, Jen apparently let the cat out of the bag about exactly what the project will entail, saying, I wasn't supposed to announce that, but I I am. This follows the somewhat depressing news that despite leading the box office in 2017 with films like Wonder Woman, Beauty and the Beast and Girls Trip, women actually made up less than a quarter of lead roles in films, a figure that is down from 2016. According to the Centre for the Study of Women in Television and Film, 2016 saw a pretty substantial rise in the number of female protagonists, up from 22% to 29%. However, that fell again in 2017 all the way down to just 24%. Clearly, there's a lot to be done, not just in representation and diversity of women seen on screen, but also in the way the female actors are being treated behind the scenes. With that in mind, here's to another year of hashtag Time's Up and hashtag Me Too, putting a spotlight on all those things that need to change sooner rather than later. In today's WTF news, Canadian skier David Duncan, his wife and coach have all been arrested after drunkenly stealing a Hummer over the weekend. While the Winter Olympics might be over, the trio decided to take their celebrations to a whole new level and after a night spent drinking are accused of stealing a pink Hummer which they found unattended with the engine left running because of the cold. Duncan, his wife Maya and trainer Willie Rain were pulled over by police while driving the vehicle from downtown Pyeongchang to the Olympic Village, a distance of less than two miles. All three were arrested for car theft and Rain was apparently also charged with drunken driving with an alleged blood alcohol level of 0.162 compared to the legal driving limit of 0.05. They have since been released, apparently each with fines of over $1,100. In a statement, the Duncan said, We are deeply sorry. We engaged in behaviour that demonstrated poor judgement and was not up to the standards expected of us as members of the Canadian Olympic team or as Canadians. Duncan from Ontario finished in 8th place in Ski cross on Wednesday, beating his 24th place finish in Sochi in 2014. Welcome to MTV News. I'm James Barr. It's freezing. And by the way, the beast from the east sounds like a guy I met on Grindr last year. MTV is about to get up close and personal with one of the most formidable Raggies on the tune. Yep, forget about keeping up with the Kardashians or crushing on the Coyote runway looks on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars because guys, the Charlotte show is coming. Cue Charlotte. Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte and I'm the star of The Charlotte Show. You might think you know us from Geordie Shore, but you haven't seen anything yet. You are about to get an all access areas pass to my life, my real life. Come and join me as I take over the world. See more of Charlotte than ever before. The brand new series starts Wednesday the 28th of March at 9pm on MTV. Taylor Swift's high school ex, who it's thought cheated on her, is now bragging about it online and fans are coming for him. Right, we all know that Taylor has a long line of ex Starbucks lovers or whatever that lyric was, but when you're possibly the inspo behind Tay's anti-cheating bot should have said no, maybe stay in your man cave. <sighs> Sam Armstrong was replying to a tweet from Brendan Schaefer about famous high school alumni when he bragged that his was Taylor Swift. Brendan was like, tell me more, tell me more, like did she have a car? 
car and Sam replied, what if I told you I dated her? Yeah, pics or it didn't happen, honey. And boom, Sam posted the receipt. But it didn't go down well with Swifties who have always got Taylor's back. They hit Twitter to drag the bragger saying, are you the reason for the teardrops on her guitar? Quoting lyrics like, you should have said no, baby, and you might still have me. But then Sam hit back posting the definition of a cult and writing, I get being a fan of someone, but gat damn, you don't know her or me. Hush, Sam, not today, Satan. A bunch of clever people have confirmed that your phone really is affected by the cold weather. Yep, according to HuffPost, freezing temperatures caused by the good old British weather can officially cause your phone to start playing silly buggers. I really enjoyed saying silly buggers. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, the cold temperatures outside do apparently cause your battery to drop, your touchscreen to fail, can switch off your phone altogether, and even cause guys to ghost us. Okay, I added that last bit. So what do we do about it? Well, the experts at Envirophone reckon we should keep our phones nice and toasty. In a statement, Richard Mavers, the company's director of group marketing and online strategy said, do your battery and hands a favor in the bitter cold and keep them in pockets, avoiding exposing them to the cold unless absolutely necessary. If you have haven't already, ensure your iPhone has a case. We wouldn't dream of going out in the cold without a coat after all. So there we have it. Wrap up warm, boys and girls, and phones. Hello and welcome back. I'm Tania Taylor. Today's hump day MTV News is a good one. Since the Spice Girls posted a pic together, yes, all five of them, the social media universe has gone slightly insane, including myself. And now, apparently sporty, posh, baby, my personal fave, Scary and Ginger could be putting back on their four-inch platforms to perform at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming nuptials. Speaking on American talk show The Real, Scary Spice, aka Mel B, confessed the band would be attending the wedding before hinting that they could be performing too. Mel let the cat out of the bag after she was asked by a fellow panel member if she knew anybody going. She then replied, yes, I'm going. I don't know if I should have said that. She continued, well us five Spice Girls are, why am I so honest? Mel Han, don't worry about it, we appreciate your honesty. This could actually be happening too, as Megan is said to be a fan of the five piece band, and Harry met the girls many moons ago after one of their concerts. I wonder which song of theirs would be appropriate to belt out after the Queen's had her supper. Hmm. Demi Lovato kicked off her Tell Me You Love Me World Tour by honouring the survivors of the mass shooting that took place in Parkland, Florida at Stoneman Douglas High School earlier this month. Demi chartered a private jet to bring the students from Florida to California so they could attend the show. The star, who has openly advocated for mental health awareness and resources in the past, welcomed the survivors on stage before belting out her hit song, Warrior. The former Disney star encouraged the crowd to donate to the Cast Foundation, a non-profit organization which provides support for people struggling with mental health illnesses and addiction. In a statement before the show, the singer said, it was such an honor to meet them and hear their courageous stories. I want to make sure their voices are being heard and we can provide them with the mental health and post-trauma care they need. Supermarket store Tesco has apologised for naming a Black Panther costume as Dark Panther. Despite the Marvel movie smashing box office records, of course, the store just couldn't seem to get the title of the costume right. The highly anticipated film has left kids all over the world wanting to dress up as their favourite characters screaming Wakanda forever. The costume which first appeared on the Tesco website was of the main character T'Challa who is definitely called Black Panther, not Dark Panther. Many people took to Twitter to express their concern, with one saying there's a pretty big movie out at the moment called Black Panther, not sure if you've heard of it. The merch you sell is called Dark Panther. Is this a Tesco own brand superhero? Another said, I want to know why Tesco has called this a Dark Panther outfit. Who's Dark Panther? Confused I am. You and me both, love. You and me both. The supermarket chain has since apologised, saying this was a mistake and we are extremely sorry for any offence caused. We are correcting the description of this product on our website and are reviewing our processes to ensure this doesn't happen again. This is such a schoolboy era Tesco. Think it's time you saw the film.